So Gearbox via a stream live yesterday spoke of changes coming to Borderlands, including more bank space, dedicated legendary drops, more anointed items, mayhem balancing and much more. Today I cover all you need to know. How's it going guys? My name's DP Jen. I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want more. Borderlands. Also guys, I am giving away copies of Borderlands to win one for yourself or a friend. Simply subscribe and make sure you have notifications turned on. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. So Graham Timmins, who is lead designer of Borderlands 3 and Grant K.O. who is the combat designer of Borderlands 3, sat down on co-op couch and spoke about the recent hotfix and future changes. So firstly, they give reason for the recent nerfs, what we got with the hotfix yesterday. Nerfs to weapons like the Flaka, the Cutsman, the Lauda and so forth. They state the data showed that a few weapons were being used more than others and the nerfs that took place were to try and balance the weapons out and equal the playing field. It didn't matter the build or Volton to being used, it was always the same weapons being used. The hotfix was mainly to balance weapons so people would branch out. And I mean let's face it guys, the game is full and home of billions of guns, yet it's only a few we do see being used. They also go into specifics about the flacker and the fact it only has one in its mag yet still, like before, uses 5 ammo per shot. As it takes the one you fire and it takes 4 from its backups. They said this shouldn't be happening and they will be looking into it. They then go on to state about the way they approach these nerfs, ain't to a point of seeing a weapon that does crazy damage and just decide to nerf it straight up. They only consider a nerf when they see a specific item or weapon is being used for every scenario and every instance because it's beyond the rest. They don't just see a weapon that's super powerful like the flacker and just decide to nerf it on the spot. They then go on to talk about dedicated loot drops. What this basically means is us being able to go to a specific place, farm a specific boss or so forth and we get specific loot. Much like we see in game now with weapons like the smart gun being exclusive to Gigamind. Gearbox say in the near future there will be much more of this meaning because there are so many items in the general loot pool adjustments will be made so in the near future loot pool drops will be shuffled around so we can go to a specific place and farm for a specific item we want making it much easier for us to complete our builds with specific items and hunt down specifics and farm different roles on said items so that's pretty cool people moving on guys and bank space they said it's official, they are looking at and are in the process of making our banks bigger. At the moment though they can't put a time date on this, but it's something they are definitely working on and we will have more news soon. And guys we need this, I mean billions and billions of guns, yeah what 50 spaces in our vaults, 50 spaces in our banks, I mean it just ain't enough, it just isn't enough people, I'm a hoarder, it kills me dropping weapons that I want to keep, so we do definitely need more bank space. They're then going to talk about changes coming to Mayhem. Next week, which will be Tuesday the 22nd, we will get a week-long Mayhem Anniversary event. With this event, we will see changes being made to the mode, making it more accessible to more players. Changes they state, they are reducing the Reflect modifier dramatically, reducing the All Bullet Damage penalty, as well as the All Gun Damage penalty. Their plan is to not penalise the people who want to stick to a certain build. They don't want people quitting out to the main menu every 30 seconds trying to roll decent modifiers. So people, they are basically making it easier for us to play, which is pretty cool. They then say anointed loot chances of all items will be heavily increased guys during this event. So that's absolutely great. I mean there are so many weapons, so many items in fact, that I do want anointed versions of. So next week with the Mayhem Anniversary Weekly event, anointed loot chances will be heavily increased guys, so that's cool. Okay, so moving on and they're going to talk about changes to our companions, i.e. Flax Pets and Zane's Digiclone. And they state more changes are coming to adjust our companions accordingly to allow them to take less damage from various sources as let's say we are playing Mayhem 3 and we're being mauled or they're being mauled by 5 enemies at the same time. Changing a specific number in the data won't help here as they're just receiving so much incoming damage. But they are looking at other ways of adjusting our companions to basically make them last a little longer and allow them to be more effective. And finally guys, they're going to speak additionally about the hotfix changes we've recently seen. And they're basically going to state that this kind of hotfix is going to be extremely rare. And we don't have to sweat if we're going to grind and build that perfect build only for next week a hotfix to come along and ruin it. That ain't going to happen, so rest assured guys. 
so that's good to hear. And basically that's it people. Now if you do want to watch the entire stream you'll find it linked within the video description. It's definitely worth a watch. But this sounds great. I mean the changes coming sound absolutely epic. I mean a bigger bank, we need that. Heavily increased anointed loot drops, we need that definitely. And other changes coming to the Mayhem mold. So that's pretty cool guys. But on that note we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Borderlands videos be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video or upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I'll see you on that next one.